U.S. Air Force Colonel Peggy Phillips was the first woman selected by the 702nd Military Airlift Squadron to attend undergraduate pilot training. After graduating in April 1981, UPT Class 8105, Peggy returned to McGuire Air Force Base, New Jersey to fly the C-141 Starlifter. She upgraded to Aircraft Commander in minimum time and then became an instructor pilot flying global missions. Peggy then rose to be the first female C-17 squadron commander and served over two years during Operation Iraqi Freedom. After logging more than 5,200 hours, including 240 combat hours, she was promoted to the rank of colonel and transferred to the Tanker Airlift Control Center. Here, Colonel Phillips fulfilled the role of Senior Director for Operations for five years. During that tenure, Peggy became the first female reserve pilot to serve as Director of Mobility Forces supporting the Katrina operation, hurricane relief for Hurricanes Gustav, Hannah, and Ike, plus Haiti operations. Serving for 30 years as an Air Force Reserve Officer, Peggy retired from military service in 2010. A recipient of numerous service medals, Peggy is also a charter member of Women Military Aviators, a nonprofit corporation that was established in 1982 as Women Military Pilots Association, with 86 female pilots and navigators and 128 WASP. Peggy continues to be an active member of WMA, helping to promote and preserve the role of female pilots in the service of their country. She serves as scholarship chair, helping to select Dream of Flight scholarship winners. Peggy is also a proud lifetime member of Women in Aviation International. For her inspiring work to network with and mentor other women in military aviation, we welcome Colonel Peggy Phillips into the Women in Aviation International Pioneer Hall of Fame.